Hey guys, and welcome back to Nonsensical Prophecy of Pendor. In the last episode, we did a whole bunch of work, and I did a whole bunch of work off screen. Uh, this is day 29, so 11 days have passed since I last recorded, and the only reason more days haven't passed is because I've got to release an episode tomorrow, so I need to record it and render it today. So yeah, I'm actually going to list off all the important things that happened while I was away instead of putting them in a text document and overlaying it over the video. So. I did not lose any battles off screen, and this is in order of when I fought them. <laughs> the uh, battles I have fought first was a party of Red Brotherhood Slavers, only seven. Forest Robbers, party of ten. Red Brotherhood Slavers, party of sixteen. Party of Forest Outlaws, party of sixteen. I wounded each and every one of them. A Lost Patrol, Knights of the Ebony Gauntlet, party of eight, which I'm very proud of that I defeated. Those guys are tough as hell. A party of twenty-three brigands, a party of sixteen Vanscury Raiders. I think it's White Wolf, or White Rock, I can't remember. Clan Warriors, those are Mismount Warriors, party of 10. Uh, party of Brigands, reinforced by a party of Wayfarers, party of 35. Renegade Knights, party of 13, there was only 8 that could fight, making, making it much easier. Heretic Worshippers, party of 5, 4 of them were Heretic Magnuses, that was very tough. And a Snake Cult, party of 1, because I was reinforcing an Empire Lord. I killed 91 enemies, plus all the enemies I wounded in that time. I started off with 4,334 denarii, and how much do I have now? I have 8,390, and there's a reason for that. And you can see I've got some different stuff on, so I'll, sh I'll tell you about that. I started two enterprises, an oil press, an ethos, and a bakery in Sez. And here are the important events that took place. The Empire took Shadi Shahid from the Dashar. Ravenstead and Fjordsvane made peace. Sarlin took Anson Lodge from the Fjordsvane and then they made peace. The Empire and the Tashar made peace after that. I looted clued the crude black greaves that I have from the Ebony Gauntlet Patrol, so these guys right here. I looted, where is it? Uh, the uh, crude metal embossed star round shield from the Vance Carry Raiders, which is right here. This guy, just barely better than my boar shield, but it looks better, so I like it. Then I looted uh, the... Stubborn Deshar Corsair from uh, the Renegade Knights. There was a bunch of Singillian horsemen with them. I acquired the map to the Red Butterhood hideout near Asgad for 200 denarii via rumor. I restocked a hidden cache in rain via rumor for 200 denarii, and it contained an iron mace, which is the two-handed version, and various loot, which I sold for 1,015. I find and re I found and recruited Anson, and then Coden Iron Sword spawned. Yay. Uh, I recently recruited Anson, so as you can see, he's got nothing. I gained a level which I did not use yet. I have some Ravenstone Archers, some Maiden Rangers, Pendor Heavy Bowmen, one Pendor Armored Bowmen, a Pendor Footman, six Armsmen which I rescued, four men Armored Footmen that I rescued, one Man at Arms that I rescued, and one Halberdier which I rescued. So that's nice. So, yep. Yeah. Also, I suppose I should show you what I my party equipped, so let's talk to you. Let's see your equipment. A fine Singillian Death Saber, a large bag of barbed arrows, and a Deshar Step Horse, rusty studded leather mail harbork, battered splinted greaves, gloves, and he still has his helmet. I just, you know, used their presets that I gave them and said, you know what, loot whatever you want. Reva, I'm not sure if she even got anything. She also has a fine, uh, well not a fine one, she has a chipped Singillian Death Saber, also got from the Renegade Knights. She got a bag of arrows, uh, the Bjernier, I think, and Black Steel Mittens. Come on. And, uh, Leslie, what did you get? Let me see your equipment. I don't think she got anything, really. Uh, she had that battered helmet, the dark, the rusted Bernier, I believe, and the Lamellar Gauntlets, I believe. I think she also got that Swayback Corsair. Anyway, I didn't actually tell Anson what he should be doing with his equipment. Upgrade armor. Your weapons will be as follows. You will have one-handed weapons, a shield, uh, two-handed weapons, and a throwing weapon. Sure. And then upgrade your horse on your own. Alright. So yeah, that's basically what happened. Uh, I have enough money for another Enterprise. I found Duke Alamar, but he wouldn't give me a quest, so Avendar, I still can't build anything in. And, yep, yeah, I want to build a tannery in Single and Tabor. I want to build a bakery in Iskumo and Naltar. 
And Loraya and Marlins, I want to build Die Works. Avandar and Sarlon, I don't know what I want yet. Fallon Bay, Javex Home, and Windholm, I don't know what I want yet. Ravenstern, Cinderfall, Rain, and Poinsbrook, I also don't know what I want yet. Well, I actually have the Ironworks in Cinderfall. I will likely be going with a Bakery and Rain, since it's usually one of the last of the cities to fall for them, so they're always going to be producing bread, even in biggest war times. I'm basically saving up for Die Works in the cities that I don't know yet, so Sarleon, Fallon Bay, Windholm, I want to build a Bakery in Javex Home. I want to make sure there's at least one bakery perfection town, basically. Because as you can see, in wartime, they're worth it. And also you can see over here, Shadi Shahid, Empire Took, Anson Lodge, Sarlian Took. So yeah, basically in this episode I'm going to start doing some village quests. I'm not going to do all of them in one episode because that's just boring. Let's go to the tavern. Anyway, you find Alyssa here, this woman... Percy, a bard, a cell sword, and Quaifin. Strike me as somewhat out of place, blah blah blah. This guy is essentially your key to the Noldor. If your relationship with them is positive or better, in exchange for a single Qualis gem, he will allow you to buy Noldor weapons and armor. Or for a single Qualis gem, he will allow you to recruit a batch of soldiers, of Noldor soldiers rather, per Qualis gem. Definitely not worth it. They're powerful, but they're not worth it. Anyway, I don't have the relationship high enough with them. Anyway, I should actually start doing this. If you talk to each of these guys and learn their songs, if you learn each and every one, you can unlock loots and liars for your custom knighthood order, even though I probably never use them. Still nice. Teach me any poems. Yeah, teach me that one. Don't care about the money I lose. Okay, and when can I move again? Now I can move again. Anyway, I'm probably going to do quests around this general area since I plan on taking Loraya, then Whitestag Castle, then Valashiot Castle. One sec. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, anyway, I plan on taking Loraya, Valor Shield Castle, and Whitestag Castle after I get positive relations with the Noldor so they won't try to sack me repeatedly. So getting these guys up to very high, as well as perhaps here, it's going to be very useful so that way I can just recruit a bunch of recruits from this general area and then deposit them all where I need them. The two castles that are very likely to be taken, uh, rather the two places that are likely to be attacked are Loraya and Valor Shield Castle. White Stag Castle is a little bit out of the way, so it's not as likely to come under attack, but, you know. From there, whenever I plan on expanding, I explain on... I... <laughs> I plan on expanding to Seven Crosses, Seven Cross Keep, and Marlins, and then Talon Castle. After that, I plan on just raiding Avendar and Sarlin's villages until they offer me peace, and then I plan on going after the Empire, so that way I have this whole area under my control. Then, if the Empire still exists, I'll raid their villages for peace, and then I'll probably take points broken to raid their villages for peace, so... I basically have this entire half of the map covered, and then from there I can just inexorably move westward. So yeah, village quest time, how fun. Do, 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 do. The reason I don't like Sarlin is because every time I see any party with red, I assume it's a party of Red Brotherhood slavers, which I suppose really doesn't matter to me now. I've actually got some decent troops with me. Actually, my upkeep is around 581, and that's about what I got from 2 of the uh, places, like two of my enterprises, so. So, do you have any tasks? Usually get a fair price, so I can escort your villagers. So, I need to escort them to uh, Avendar, which is actually kind of annoying. I have to scare off anything in their path, and there's usually a Red Brotherhood ambush party, depending on your level. So I want to try to get ahead of them. Plus there's that brigand camp right there. Well, actually while I'm doing this, where is Asgad? Right here. So there's a Red Brotherhood hideout like right around here. You can get a Qualis gem from that, so that's actually pretty cool. I'll probably wind up doing that after this quest. So yeah, this is a boring part. What are you doing? Follow the villagers, you dumb butt. Traveling at about the same speed. That's right, run away while I chase these guys off. Well, they're only going... Oh, they're going to Avandar. Never mind. I thought they were going to Marlins. I was hoping they'd go to Marlins. Run away. Run away. You know better than to attack me. 
Where are you guys going? Just follow me. I wish you could tell them to follow you. I really don't like having to go ahead of them. You can choose to follow them if you're of the same faction, but if you're not of the same faction... What are you doing? I'm chasing them off. If you're not of the same faction, you don't have the option to choose, you know... There will be no option for you to try to follow them. Okay, well, there's actually no Red Brotherhood ambush party? That's actually surprising. They must have gotten ambushed by one of the lords around here. And... win. That's them. Oh, they, they're running from Code and Iron Sword? Hi. I don't want to fight you, like, ever. You've got 12 Berserkers, 42 Warriors, 25 Axemen, 32 Rogue Squires, and 29 Rogue Knights. Keep away from me. Alright, we're going to Asgard now. Hopefully there will be nothing along the way. I know there's still a Heretic army roaming around. I really don't want to fight those Cutthroats. Alright, so I know the Red Brotherhood hideout is around here. There it is, treasure map location. We're actually going to save it before going in there, because this one's actually quite tough, I believe. I don't think it's scaled to level, though. Anyway, you need to find the treasure chest first. Before, you, before all the Red Brotherhood are dead. Because if you don't do that, then you'll just get the normal loot at the end. You need to find the treasure chest before all the Red Brotherhood die. Which is why I'd actually recommend only taking this on around level 10 or above, so that way there's actually a couple of reinforcement waves. The reason this is actually tough is they all have crossbows. And crossbows kind of punch through armor rather well. Alright, you know what? Sure, chase them up, up the cliff. I'll keep running over here. I don't mind if I get knocked out as long as I get the claws gem. I believe I keep the gem if I'm knocked out, so... Come on. Alright, so that's the Guildsmen. Oh, that's why they're having such a hard time with them. The Guildsmen, I believe, is level 35. Oh, hang on. I forgot to disconnect my Xbox 360 controller, and when that happens, it vibrates for some reason. I was playing Saints Row 4. Surprisingly fun. It's like a mix of, like... I'd say it's like a mix of Infamous and... Yeah, pretty much a mix of, like, Infamous's parkour style. Once you level it up and explore it a little bit and um what's it ah damn you really there's two leaders here fantastic god damn it i'm dead really fuck you all right hopefully that fixed the issue ah much better hopefully I'm gonna have my archers just wait up here. It's the place they're most effective. Yep, yeah, right here. Alright, now I have to systematically take out all of them as much as I can. Really, really wish I would have recruited a combat-based companion for this. I have the money to get one. I just don't know where he is. Alright. Really? Well, that's five health I can't get back. God, I'm hungry. <laughs> that's right. Fire at my uh, friends, not me. Is, are, these, are these guys all guildsmen? Seriously? Alright, now we gotta get up here. Anson, where are you going? Alright, now I want my archers to follow me. I'm gonna get rid of this guy that's camping up here. I don't believe this guy will respawn. Come on, fire. Alright, now I want my archers to wait up here. Oh, hi. You do respawn. At least you didn't spawn with a shield. Alright, that takes care of you. Yeah, I really want my archer or archers up here. So I don't know where they all spawn. 
So yeah, I want to bring my companions and stuff. I want my infantry like over there-ish. And any companions over there. Not cavalry archers. Not cavalry archers. And fucking lag. Well, there goes Anson. Alright, what? I don't know what the fuck is up with this lag. Alright, well, my upload's just finished, so I'm hoping closing Chrome will save some processing power. <sighs> That's it, Halberdier. Go up against all of them like an idiot. Run to the chest! Make it! Yes! Black Steel Mittens. Sweet. Those are mine now. And there's extreme lag yet again! A lot of loot, too. A heavy northern battle axe. God damn it. Much more that right now than my lance. Come on. Come on! Lag! I really hate this annoying lag. Anyway. It's a bit slow. But I've been meaning to get my two-handed weapons up. Oh, the music's gone. Where? Alright. Ow. Haha. <laughs> Ow. Damn you. Help. Help me. Help me. I, I don't want to die here. People. Anyone. Stop it. It's a bad woman. No. Please tell me I keep my stuff. I kept all the stuff. Oh yeah! Giggity giggity goo. Don't ask. Oh, I forgot to spend my level. That might have helped! Uh... Might have helped if I had more of those bowmen. Yeah, you you guys were fodder. But you're fodder that leveled up, so... Yay! She gets another point to trade. I'll get better prices for what I just looted. Uh, wow. I am so hungry. I really should eat something. And I gained a level, and my health is almost gone, so yeah. I'm probably going to put another point into intelligence, honestly. Oh, I gained a few levels from that. Wow. I'm level 15 now, so... I'm going to point into that Iron Flesh. Point into that Weapon Master. One more point into riding. That's all I'm putting into riding. Right, hang on. Gotta think about this. Need to get more prisoner management. And I've still got two more levels. Hmm. I could do with some more points into pathfinding and inventory management, honestly. That's what I'll do. I need the inventory management. More loot is better. As for these guys, um. I'm, I'm really getting lag at this screen? The fuck? I might need to restart my computer. Do do, and then I'll put the rest into two-handed weapons because I want to try to get that up. Wow, I'm I'm really getting this much lag at this screen. All right, I'm going to wait for this screen to come up. Really? All right, I'm going to exit the game, save my progress, and then restart my computer to see if that helps. So yeah, uh, see you soon. Okay, let's see if a hard reset will take care of the problem. Any whoozle, we're just gonna go back and sell some stuff. And, um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this particular Qualis gem. Might just go get another elixir if I can. I don't know, I've hit a couple of lag spikes already. I've gone from 60 down to 43 FPS. Don't know why I'm recording at 60. YouTube can only display 30. So hang on one second while I fix that. Okay, there we are. Back down to 30. I don't know why the frame rate was so high for me. I'm locking at 30 for a reason. 714? That's that's weird. I thought in 6.11 they fixed it so garrisons wouldn't get so giant. Anywho, so let's go in here. What do we have? We have a young western noble. I think those are the best ones. And hello, Siggy Sinclair! Drinking is no fun alone. Why are you drunk at this time of the day instead of with your troop? Don't care, don't care. 
He costs four grand dough. Sure. And we have one of the best foot archers in the entire game, and he's already fully equipped for a fight. Mostly. Now let's go to that marketplace of ours. And I still have that horse. I'm going to bring this claws gem up here since I'm not going to sell it. Sell that, sell that. And I get 600 for that. 600 for that. 600, 600, 600. Nah, just a little bit too much. I'll keep a hold on that. We'll sell the little gloves. And I recouped a good chunk of what I just spent. So that's nice. And... Oh, crap, I got rid of my lance, didn't I? Fuck. Didn't mean to actually get rid of it. Just wanted to put it on the back burner. Oh, well. I've got some decent armor now, even though it looks ridiculous. Let's go back here. Can't remember where that lance is. That's a uh, hafted spiked mace, Jared's. Nah. Fine, long cavalry lance. It'll just cost a full grand less, and it's got the same exact reach and speed. Which is what I'm going to go for. It's going to cost me a grand, but it's worth it. I can get the money back anyway. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, back to doing those, uh, village quests. I need to head back to, I believe it was here. I really hope I get those train the villager quests, because those are by far the most rewarding for the least amount of work. And I think my next couple battles, I'm just going to go ahead and send my companions out ahead of everyone. If I can catch these guys, they're going... I'm not going to be able to catch these guys. Not unless they run up a hill. Which I doubt they will. Kite them over this way. Oh, well, they're dead. I decide to help Lord Montoyer's party. Alright, I'm just gonna have my companions charge in then. Companions and fodder go. No! Fodder, you have to charge. Run ahead, everyone else! Don't let them escape! Look at them go. You, get off the horse. Oh, I want to hit the horse, not you. Come on, companions, you can do it. Whoops. Didn't mean to kill him! Well, it looks like our companions aren't going to do any work. How? Yeah, my companions did no work. They were probably all too hurt. Alright. Next is the item pool. There's nothing interesting here. Just a spear and some... I suppose this will go for decent prices. And, okay. I forgot to set up... Oh, Anson gained a level. Sweet. Your companion. No, I'm gonna label you as Archer, since that's where you're gonna stand most of the time. And we're going to talk to you, see your equipment, and you can see he already starts with ebony, plate mail, black greaves, and gauntlets, so he's pretty damn good. Pendle great store, siege, crossbow, and bolts. Talk about managing equipment, upgrade your armor on your own. You are going to upgrade your weapons as follows. You're going to go with crossbow if you find a better one. Uh, Two-handed weapon, bolts, and more bolts. Alright. And you're not going to have a horse. Okay, okay. Yeah, one of my uh, my party is probably very, very injured. Ensign, you are by far the one who is going to get the least amount of points into strength. I'm gonna specialize you in surgery first and foremost. Surgery is incredibly important. It keeps you from losing men. All right. Hey, what do I get? I get one renown and bread. You never go wrong with bread. Alright, any more tasks? Bandits driven away your cattle, seven heads of cattle will suffice. Okay. Fortunately, cattle is annoyingly expensive. Let's go ahead and sell off the stuff I looted. Okay. 
Yay, 260. That's not going to cover the cost of cattle. Let's go here. And then we're going to speak to this guy. And we're going to supplies cattle. Two, two cost me only 197. That's a good price, actually. And buy some cattle. Five. 500. So they cost me just over 100 each. You. Follow. Moo to you two! You mooing mooer that moves the moo. Uh, cattle, what are you doing? Get the fuck over here. Come on. Do 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 do. Speak with the village elder. What do you got? Aha! Kasim is level 9 now, and I got nothing for it. Suffering greatly. I'll teach you how to defend yourself, sure. Uh, first I'm going to level up Kasimi. You, Kasimi! Let me tell you about your skills that you're going to change. Can't get any more points into spotting, and now you can't get any more points into trainers, so you're putting them into pathfinding. Okay. And quickly save here. And train the peasants. Kasim has the highest training, so it's going to take nine hours, and we're going to train them. Thunder! Oh yay! One. I think you can get up to four at one time. Basically, you do that. Yay! Alright, I'm going to cut away until I finish with this because it gets very tedious. Okay, this should be the last practice fight before the actual main event. Ah! Poke. You bastard! What? 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 Okay. Prepare for a fight! Everyone charges automatically, so I don't know what the hell we're fighting, so I'm just gonna charge in blindly. Oh, hey, Miss Mountainers. And a lot of them. Holy crap! You shall never take me alive, you fools! You've doomed us all! It'd actually be easier to fight these guys on foot. Come on. What do you think you're doing with that bow? Get off your horse. Hey, guess what? While well, the large majority of you actual good troops are fighting me, the rest of my guys are cleaning up. I missed! I'm a fool. I wish you could actually take prisoners from this. It would be an amazing source of prisoners. Ow, 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 ow! Shark Corsair, do not let me down now! Peasants, keep getting knocked out. Oh, screw this, I'm getting off my horse. Get up. Oh wow, we're all chasing the same dude. Let's go, men! If I can get up! Damn it! Horseman, stop that! Oh, he's on a horse. This guy's gonna get annoying. Damn it, I want to kill him! You guys ruined my fun. Stop running away, you son of a bitch. I don't like when these guys run away. I don't know why I got off my horse. They're, the guy's just chilling, throwing rocks. Sweet. I really wish there wasn't a thrusting attack with this goddamn axe. Nice, the only one we lost were peasants. Now I'm going to refuse because... Well, it actually helps because it improves the relations that much more and you gain honor from it, so boom! Any more tasks that I can help you with? No, not right now. Okay. So yeah, that's one villager. And those are all going to be outriders. I don't want them. I could use the armored bowman, but I don't know how my financiers will hold up. Anyway, we're going to go to Emirate now. 
Just really hope I don't run into any Noldor or rogue bands of ro range of the Clarion Call. Alright, these guys don't need anything either. Fine, I'll just wait at Lariah for a bit. Oh, hi, Noldor. Please don't kill me. I'm going to quickly go to party and then Reva and then talk. Tell me about your skills, Reva. Your tactics I'm not going to increase until you can get past five, so... I'm going to get points into pathfinding. The faster I go, faster we get out of crappy situations. And I'm actually going to start... I keep forgetting to go and select a book to read, Life of the Silver Fox. So that way when I w wait at places like this to avoid these crappy old over trolls... That's right, chase the farmers! Alright, let's get out of here. Do you need any th help now? Alright, well screw you then. You guys don't get my help even when you need it. I'll loot this village. Alright. What about you? You guys need some helps? You don't need some helps. But I had plenty of helps to give. Alright, gotta be careful around here. Oh god, that's why you have to be careful. Run away! Run the frick away! I don't need them seeing me. This thing says I'm between a rock and a hard place right now because there are jaw two out there. <laughs> really wish that an old ore weren't here. A heroic adventurer who is leading a peasant revolt. Oh, Alaric. I really want to fight this guy simply so he can hear the amazing music. It's literally him, like five year adventurers, a bunch of militia, and a bunch of peasants. Alright, well, looks like I can afford to spend like another 700 on troops without going overboard. The oil press and the ironworks. Well, my oil press at Ethos actually did pretty well. And a heretic army? Really? How many armies are there spawned now? Alright, the heretics are strong. There are four armies spawned. Ithrandir, Boris the Raven, Slyla Oozes, a heretic army, and Coden Iron Sword. Really? Alaric doesn't get an army spawn? Really? Anyway. As you can see, Duke Renis still. It's Duke Renis, not Duke Alexa. Uh, not Duke Alamar that I'm trying to court, basically. I could still get. I can lead a band of up to 76 men. I'm actually going to go to Marlins and see if there are any mercs to hire, because mercs are much better at this stage of the game. Do 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 I can't fight you guys because my party's too big. Boop. 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 Let's see if anyone's in here. Mercenary armored crossbowman. Yeah, I actually prefer faction troops to that. Let's move the spread up here, because I like keeping things organized. I'm doing a lot of fighting from horseback right now, so the lance would actually help. Oh yeah, a heavy version of this is what I sold. I mean, its value was like 900, I sold it for like 4. Alright, now with riding a 4, I can get any horse I... Really, almost any horse I want. Including this... Whoa, the war horse is that heavily armored? Jesus Christ. Now, this is what I would like. A gold deer war horse, but... Ornate? Draped? No. Yeah, those are the kind of horses I'm looking at, but... Alright. I'm just looking for something to spend my gem on. do 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 Oh, boy. What's following me? Renegade Sarlan Knights. Okay, they're running from his party. They're following me. It's two rogue knights, five squires, six adventurers, sixteen horsemen. Those Singillian horsemen are going to be a nightmare. Let's try this. I'm trying to get these guys to be kited into an army. Uh, uh, ah! Kite into a damn army. Someone please chase these guys down for me. Stop running away, you sons of bitches. Ah! 
I will find you and I will kill you. Oh my god! Where do you think you're going, huh? Huh? Run away? Run away? That's what I thought. Run away from me, you. Run away! Run away, you. Oh! <laughs> Run away. That's it. Run away. Oh, uh, mommy. Run away. Run away. Oh god, this is getting old! Run. Run from me. Fear for your lives! Be afraid. Be very afraid. I'm, I'm turning you guys into armored bowmen. Turning you into outriders. I need the additional troops. Do, 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 do. Oh, wow. Now they're running from me. Haha. -ha. You can't run from me forever, you fools. Alright, um, terrain disadvantage, yet again, archers up here, infantry right here, fodder, go get them, cavalry, go get them. No, cavalry, you're gonna charge. Really? Oh my god, you idiots. Infantry, spread the hell out. There we are. If I can get rid of the rogue knights, this should be a piece of cake. Even with all these Singillian horsemen. Rogue Squires aren't a danger. There we are, as long as I get around him before he can uh, lance me. There we are. Deliver that much damage to the horse, he won't be able to kite in time! Wow, that horse is sturdy. Damn it! Die, horse! There we are. Getting rid of their horses is half the battle here. This actually should be a relatively easy fight once I get rid of all their horses and stuff. Alright, keep away from that guy so he doesn't spear me. If I could just get your horse out from underneath you! Wow, that horse is sturdy. Come on, your horse should be dead soon. Ow. Ow. I don't know what just hit me. I think it was an arrow. Oh, that did some damage to me. Lance, you are my friend! Save me! Not that kind of saving me. You know what? I want some prisoners from this fight. You and your spear, you will do no good! I need a doom mace. There's almost no chance of me actually looting a doom mace, though. You know what? You and your bow are getting on my nerves. Okay, I'll, I'll admit you're stronger than I thought, but you're still gonna die. There we are, come on. Right behind you! You rogue squires are a good bit of money for me. Nice. Singillian horsemen aren't bad money either. Come on! Man, those Pendor armor bowmen really make a difference. Okie dokie, come on. You cannot last forever up on the high hill, you. Wow, tough horse. Come on, Maiden Outrider, you can do it. 24 damage. You, can, you can't do any damage with a lance from that close range. You have to back up and then charge at me. See, you're not doing any damage to my almost unarmored horse. But the only good thing the lance will do is stop my horse from knocking you over. Come on, horse, come on. There we are. Oh, that was a rogue knight? Well, he sucked. What did I lose? I lost an armored footman and outrider. That's it. And four wounded. Nice. I took a few prisoners. Saved some people. Not gonna... Not gonna bring them in. The adventure is not gonna give me much. These squires and this knight are gonna give me a decent chunk. Let my heroes access gear. Leslie equipped a circuit. He equipped a, a shield and boots. And Siggy equipped a quaff. And now what do we have? A tattered Singillian black studded leather. 
Chips and Gillian Death Saber, uh, Rusted Dark Burnian. Not bad, actually. Not a bad haul. What do we have? Bent ar arrows and a bow. Rusty Ravenstern Battle Axe. This is why I like night patrols. They hardly ever have bad stuff, except for that wooden hose, which I don't know why I loot it. And because we're right next to Sarleon, boom! Please don't get ambushed. Thank you. And time to sell all this stuff. I really need Leslie to get at, like, 30 charisma right away, so... It's gonna take her a while, though. Nice, one grand. Not two shabsties. Did I already search for stuff here? It looks like I already did. Lordly male boots. I'd like that. They're way too expensive, though. Anything with anything positive in front of it is usually going to be too expensive for me to get. Alright, well, that takes care of that. I think what I'm going to do now off screen is I'm just going to do village quests for these guys until these guys are all at like 100 village relation. And then I'll probably wind up doing like village quests around here. And then all around here. I, I want to get... I want to get these villages all in here, all to 100, because this is going to be my main recruiting area. Basically, my recruitment area will start at Marlins in this area. If I have too many guys, I drop them off at Lariah or Seven Cross Keep, and then I continue down here to Sez. Hopefully. And then, after I do all that, I have to think about, you know... During all this village quest time stuff, I'm still going to be searching for, like... Bandit parties, killing them, getting their loot, selling them, getting prisoners, selling prisoners. Speaking of which, I didn't actually check if there was a, uh... A, um... Yep, there he is. There she is, I should say. Singillian Horseman, 150 a pop. Easter Adventure, 104. Squires, 150. Rogue Knight, 416. Sweetness. So, yeah. I'm gonna keep careful track of everything I do, as usual. Well, as I did in the last episode. So, I'm going to tell you guys which villages have the required amount. Which areas I've finished in terms of village quests. So, Lariah, it's, the, it's this area. Marlins, it's this area. Ethos, it's this area. And Says, it's this area. So, basically, Says is Bullion, Rudai, Buravanen, Serendar, Mars Castle, Pagun Pakundas... Ethos is Fedner, Chaza, Walvin, Emir, Unhin, Bulgara, Samarish. Lariah is Elhard, Ermerind, Fletcher, Trag something, and Quinn. Marlins is Berglin, Emir, Perrin, and Talbur place. All those guys need to be at 100 relation before I make any sort of move, and I'm going to try to get that done like right away. I want to make sure I have... I'm going to target Sarlin cities next for... Enterprises, Loraya, Marlins, Sarleon, and I'm going to try to get Duke Brennus up a bit so I can get Avendar as well. Then after that I want to get uh, Single, Torba, uh, Naltar, and Iskomon. F after that I want to get Valenbay, Javixholm, and Windholm, and then finally I want to get Ravenstern, Cinderfall, Rain, and Pointsbrook. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Nonsensical Prophecy Pend or whatever this is called. If you liked the video, please uh, hit the like button for me. Maybe subscribe. Maybe leave me a comment, guys. Anyway, take care. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed playing it. <laughs>